Good morning. You know I'm about to talk about the three Pittsburgh officers shot. The three cops shot in the line of duty, checking in on some old lady arguing with her son. There is no underlying sweet lining in this story. There's no sweet lining in any of these stories where police officers are getting murdered, gunned down the street. But there is a difference. There is a huge difference. The stink and stench of, oh, look, they're doing it again, is not involved in this one. Is it because the shooter this time was a white man? And the story, you don't hear him saying, oh, look at this, 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 this. They always do this. I'm glad that the shooter's white. I said it. I'm glad a white man shot three cops. Because now it's open season on white people, just as well as it is on black people. He's out there messing them dogs next door. I said it. Now, is anybody going to pay attention to the situation now that someone white has shot the cop? Is it true? Is it true when someone white does something, it gets a positive reaction? As to where it's when someone black does something, look, they're at it again. This white guy shoots these cops, coming to his house because he had his damn dog piss on the floor in the house and his mama didn't want to hear it. His mama like, you had the dog pissing in the house. I'm calling the cops, get this damn dog out of here. Cops come to the door. Mom opens the door, pop, pop, with a rifle, kills the two cops. Another cop shows up, you know, to retrieve, I guess, the other two cops or whatever. He gets shot. They expected that in the black neighborhood. They didn't expect that from somebody white. Am I getting racist in this video? Young people are tired. And it don't matter what color they are. If you get a group of people cornered, backed up into a corner long enough, somebody's going to come out swinging. And now, less than a month apart, we've lost seven police officers in two different states, not including the ones that are injured on the duty or whatever they do on the whatever. I am not an advocate for the police in any way, shape, or form. I'm an advocate for the people. And as long as you dumbass people keep on doing this shit, my warnings will come true. I warn you all, you keep this up, we'll be rushed to the bus stations, to train stations, cities at a time, checked out and released. Okay, you check out, you can go home. You, you got a record, you're gone, period. Where am I going? gone. Let's not make it easy for the tanks to roll down the streets, people. But I'm glad a white man did this. And I'm going to explain that very graphically in a second. It's because black people, Mexicans, Indians, anything other than white is considered a savage in certain circles. It is very hard for a group of people to see themselves as savagers. So when these people get to see how some of their own people act, they won't be so hard on seeing how some of your people act. Because they will finally realize that we are all the same. Everybody hurts exactly the same. And in that, in that one little phrase, everybody hurts the same, they will find a common goal. A sort of link between the savages and them. They ain't no better than a damn dirty nigger, a stupid Mexican, a po-cracker.
they ain't no different or no better than the scourge that they step over and walk over every day throughout their lives. They are no better than those they turn their nose up on. And when they see that, a reality kicks in. And in that reality, every memory of every savage act they've ever committed or ever seen comes to light. No man need die in our society. Not a cop, not a citizen, not a child, nobody. Nobody. But I'm glad and I'm sad that we have to sit back and watch other people bring the tanks to our front doors. We have to sit back and watch people who can't think clearly bring drama to our households. We have to sit back and watch those who write these laws run amok in a freeway that they can only ride on, a freeway that we wish we could find a free way of life devoid of all justice. We wish we could be like them. We don't want to be like Mike. Mike only got money. Mike ain't got laws. We want to be like those who control us. So people, please, put your guns away, pick up a pen, and change the way life is around you. Until next time, if you find any knowledge in what I've just said, pass it on. Because you don't want nobody to look at you as if you're some savager. Or when you can see who's done the savage acts. When you can see who's pushed the envelope. When you see who's pushed people into a position to where it's when they come out, they come out swinging. Or blasting. Or running. Or crying or bleeding, or pleading. We only have one life to live, and this ain't no damn soap opera, baby! Wake up! You have been asleep far too long! And like my nephew says, you count the sheep, but don't sleep. The American dream only comes to those who are asleep. The American reality haunts and dwells in us all. May your God save you, because I can't. I can only tell you what I see to be the truth. And those out there, those critics who don't like me for telling the truth, or they say, well, you don't make no sense when you tell the truth. That's illogical. Things like that can't happen. Yes, the unexplainable happens to everybody every day. Those situations you can't, uh, 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 that happens to everybody. And when people tell the truth, the truth is harder to swallow. The truth is less believable than a lie. I could always lie to you. But I feel better when I tell you the truth. <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Now they're saying the guy's not white. Make up your mind, people. I don't care. I don't care. Asian, white, whatever. As long as it wasn't a black person, yeah. Fuck it. You folks out there, we don't want people shooting at the cops. You don't want that.